Okay, everybody, welcome to Slow Smoking a T Bone on my Green Mountain Grill. Just gonna slow smoke, work on this, let it cook all day long. It will be a fall off the bone, melt in your mouth like butter. It just, it'll be incredible. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I have an inch and a half thick T-bone, weighs roughly a pound. Uh, what was it? It was uh, 1.64 pounds. So, just a beautiful, beautiful piece of meat. And I'm gonna season it with Montreal steak seasoning. Just gonna be wonderful, wonderful flavor. And I'm gonna end up putting it on my Green Mountain Grill. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna use Montreal steak seasoning. Really, really like the flavor of this. And I'm just gonna be very liberally putting it on the steak. Obviously, next step is to get the grill fired up. So we're gonna do that right now. You might not be able to see it, but it's off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and let it get warmed up. It's gonna warm up to about 150, which believe it or not, is where I am going to let it set for the smoking process is at 150 degrees. We're going to do that for about two, two and a half hours. Okay, so you can see I've got uh, the grill. It's warming up right now. Right now it's at 67 degrees. All right, the smoke is rolling out. Going to get this all warmed up. Ho, 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 this is going to be good. By the way, I'm using hickory. This is what I'm smoking it with. All right, you can see warming up the grill. The grill is getting going. It's in its second phase now. We love this little grill. It is just enough for two people. And it just does an incredible, incredible job. I've had other brands have not worked near as well as the Green Mountain Grill. Okay, I'm in phase three. We're getting close, getting close. Should be getting up to 150 here in a little bit. Okay, my grill has reached 150 degrees. It is gonna be time to go ahead and put this beautiful piece of meat on. Okay, time to put the meat on. I'm going to take this piece of meat and I'm going to put it season side down. So you can see that. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put more Montreal steak seasoning. this side. Liberally cover it. Close it up. It's sitting at 152. And now I start my timer. And I'm looking for at least two hours at the 150 and right now it's 153 and just let it slow smoke. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on the two hour mark. Let us go see what this looks like. Two hours. All right, here we are at the two hour mark. Checking the uh, internal temperature. That meat is looking good. 
Let's see where this thing ends up. Doing this slow. Remember, this is all about slow. So it's just above. I can see it's going to be a just below what's rare. 135 is a rare steak. So we're at 124 degrees. Now at this point in time, I'm going to move the temp up to 165 degrees and let it smoke for another hour. At a little bit higher temp. You can see as the temp is going up, really smoking good gonna get the nice smoke flavor in this so I'm gonna do 165 degrees for another hour okay now the next step is to get ready to build our um, base for it to no longer smoke but actually cook in a beef flavored soup. What I'm going to do is take some of this and put in here. I took two fingers, two fingers of beef flavored soup base and put in my cooking pan. I'm warming the water and now I'm going to fill the pan. I take the warm water, I mix this all up. And I have a beautiful soup base and I'm going to get ready to pull the T-bone off of the smoker. And I'm going to pull the T-bone off the smoker at a minute 36. The internal temperature, as you can see, it's climbing. We're going to let it climb and see where the internal temperature is at. But you can see that piece of meat is looking fantastic. Look at that. Oh, just a beautiful piece of meat. I take the warm water, I mix this all up. And I have a beautiful soup base and I'm gonna get ready to pull the T-bone off of the smoker. And I'm going to pull the T-bone off the smoker at a minute 36. The internal temperature, as you can see, it's climbing. We're going to let it climb and see where the internal temperature is at. You can see that piece of meat is looking 
fantastic. Look at that. Oh, just a beautiful piece of meat. Now I've put the uh, T-bone in the uh, beef broth soup. And I'm ready to cover it up. I put the T-bone covered up and now I'm gonna raise the temperature to 200. 200. Now it gets to cook at 200 degrees for about another two hours. All right. Now the uh, Green Mountain Grill has reached 200 degrees. I'm going to start the timer. And I want another two hours at 200 degrees. I'm at 200 degrees on the Green Mountain Grill. You can see it's covered up. We're in good shape. Oh, by the way, did I say at any point in time during this whole thing that you must, you must, and this is most important, you must drink a lot of Crown Royal. Okay, here we are. At, a, at one hour and 36 minutes since I wrapped it and put it on at 200. It's been maintaining 200 for that time period. It is time to go check it and see where our temperature is. And, oh my God, I'm getting hungry. I'm ready to pull this thing off. All right. I have uncovered it. It's been sitting at almost 200 for the last hour and a half. And let's see where the temperature's at. All right, here we go. We are at 100 and... Holy shit, it's climbing, climbing, climbing. We're at 200. This, this is, meat is ready to go. It's ready to pull it and let it rest for a little bit. So, there we go. Alright, so I pulled the meat, I turned the smoker off, and now it's let time to let it rest for about a half hour. Believe it or not, that is plenty of time to let it uh, to uh, cook some macaroni and cheese, which is my favorite. Alright, here we are. After what, five and a half hours? Take a look at that. Now it's time to let this meat just rest. Cook some mac and cheese. And this is going to be fall off the bone. Yummy good. Hey, it has been resting for about a half hour now. And here we go. Look at that fine piece of meat. I am. Oh my gosh. Just look at how that falls apart. Oh shit, that's good. That is good. Just fall off the bone. Look at that. Let me tell you what. That is good, good T-bone steak. 